corruption. Known and feared across the mortal realms, bringer of attrition, silent killer of armies aplenty. With the inclusion of the demonic factions, corruption has received new life and function. In Total War Warhammer 3, corruption has been reworked into a more interesting system that splits Chaos Corruption into five distinct types, one for each god and another for the Pantheon as a whole. Different factions are impacted differently by corruption, with big benefits to the right servants and negatives to mortals. Worth noting now, Public Order has been renamed to Control on the campaign map. This better represents all the ways in which a faction can support or dominate a populace. In a nutshell, factions serving a specific god get a control boost and other positive effects from their own god's corruption, whilst getting control reduced from other types of corruption. Mortal factions receive control and growth reductions, plus special negative effects based on the specific god's corruption. Undivided factions receive the positive effects but nothing related to control. Their specific Chaos Undivided Corruption has the attrition effect for their enemies and the control bonus for them. These effects increase in potency as corruption takes hold, topping out at 100 corruption maximum. Lord Presence, Heroes, Special Actions, Province Commandments, Buildings and more all contribute to the spread of corruption making it inescapable for invading armies. But all is not lost. Every corruption, even Skaven and Vampiric, reduces all other corruption types in the region, meaning a region being defiled by a couple of Chaos Gods isn't uncommon, though four would struggle to maintain in one place. Let's take a look at each of the Chaos Gods' corruption effects broken down. Corn first. As a positive effect, we see an increase in melee attack and charge bonus. As a negative, there's a decrease in melee defense for local armies. Meanwhile, the positive effect of Slanesh Corruption is increased income for all buildings, whilst the negative is reduced income from all buildings. Nurgle sees increased growth for his positive effect and increased chance of plague spreading and plague duration as the negative. And finally, Sinch is positive. Winds of Magic are more likely to increase in strength when changing. The negative. Winds of Magic are less likely to increase in strength when changing. As you'd expect, each type of corruption has a value up to 100, with various thresholds along the way governing the intensity of the effects. There's also a unique visual effect on the regions that are particularly afflicted, which is pretty cool. Whilst not a complete upheaval in how you approach and play the game, the corruption changes add some flavor to the world and provide some direction on where best to invade next. So go forth and spread corruption. Make the Chaos Gods proud.